For anyone used to working on desktop, keyboard modifiers are a great way to streamline workflow. All three iPad apps also have access to keyboard modifiers through the command controller. It will appear in the bottom left by default to be used with the left hand, and it can be toggled on and off via the button on the tools panel. However, if you're left-handed, you might prefer to have the command controller on the right side of the workspace to use with your right hand while you draw with your left. If you'd like to move it, perform a long press with your finger on the center button until it starts pulsing, and then you can drag it to a new area on the workspace that works for you. I'm right-handed, so I'll move it back to the left. If I tap on the center button, we can see Shift, Command, Option and Control. I can tap a modifier to lock it on and it will stay on until I tap it to turn it off. For example, if I select the triangle tool and lock Shift on, I can drag out a triangle with constrained proportions and rotate it, locked to 15 degree increments. When I'm finished, I can tap it to turn it off. You can also swipe past the modifier to lock it on with a single action. I'll just delete this triangle with a two finger tap to undo. Another option you have is to hold it whilst working. To do this, hold the center button and move it before it starts pulsing. Now the keyboard modifier is engaged until you release your finger and you can move it to other modifiers too. I'll pull the center button over shift to constrain proportions whilst I drag out a triangle, then switch to the move tool and move to command to duplicate it. Finally, there may be times when you want to engage more than one modifier. I have an advert here for a new brand of water, and I'm just finishing off the logo and packaging design. I have my brand and tagline in a group, which I've made into a symbol, and then added to the bottle in a vector warp group in the designer persona. So as I work, I can simultaneously see how it looks on the packaging. If you want to know more about creating symbols or warp groups, you might want to have a look at our other tutorials. I'll double tap on one of the letter curves to move into the group and select the double star tool. Now I can start to drag out my spiky shape. I want it to stay in proportion, so I'll lock shift on. And I also want to resize it around the center to avoid having to move it afterwards. So I'll also lock command on. And I'd like to decide where the gradient sits. So I'll hold the center button over control to allow rotation. All the while I can check my design on the bottle to make sure it's a good size for the label. Then I can tap the keyboard modifiers to unlock them. By locking and holding more than one keyboard modifier, several steps can be performed in one action. This is great for time saving and efficiency. So that was a quick look at the command controller. Thanks for watching.